Welcome back, everyone! This is Jaronitis bringing you Fallout 4. Today, we're starting on episode uh, 30 something. I don't remember the episode number. <laughs> I should have wrote it down. Uh, and today, we're going to continue on doing some quests. Uh, I changed a couple things. Um, since I'm seeming to get, gather more suits of power armor, I went ahead and made each uh, power armor workstation for each of my legitimately gained power armors. My illegitimately gained power armors, my stolen ones, are down positioned down next to the bridge. Uh, so when you walk across the bridge, you see the empty suits of power armor like standing there staring you down. I mean, it's empty suit of armor, but still the concept of it staring you down is intimidating or it's supposed to be anyway um <laughs> lost 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 reload please um so i did a couple things in between episodes uh first off paladin dance is only here because he's wearing power armor and he can carry more stuff uh, I had over 2,000 purified water, so I loaded him down and loaded myself down and was traveling around doing a bunch of trading. Um, I've gone ahead and moved all of my capable followers over to the Zimjablalaba... Zimonja. Outpost Zimonja. Um, the problem is that somewhere along in there, I lost Nick. Uh, he's actually the guy I want to travel with me because I kind of like him. He's got a sense of humor. But um, when I dismissed him up on the blimp, uh, he never showed up. He just vanished. Um, so I don't know where he is. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm not very happy with that. But, um, well, there's not really a whole lot I can do about it either. Um, I looked it up, and supposedly he's supposed to show back up later on in the main quest. So I guess I'll have, you know, later on in the main quest to, to deal with that. Um, speaking of quests, I have decided uh, that I'm not going to continue with the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I've opened the blimp. There's a lot of stuff there. I can buy and sell stuff there. There's a lot of really nice things to get. But, uh, you know, feeding the troops where he says to go and get it from whatever means necessary. Apparently, you can just kill everyone and they're just like, cool, you kill everyone. Sweet. Um, and of course the next quest in that thing being show no mercy. I don't even like the sound of that um, They do get cool stuff, but I have a, a moral problem with some of the stuff that they're doing and Honestly, I just don't want to do what they're doing. I might go back to them, you know and and just do their thing, but the biggest thing is I don't want to alienate the uh, Minutemen because Every single mission that Preston has given me was to go get a settlement and to save the settlement. Now, when I save the settlement, it says they join the Minutemen. I really like having all these settlements. I like playing around with them, and I don't like the idea of them all turning against me uh, if I alienate the Minutemen. So we're going to go ahead and do the Minutemen quests. Um, I don't know how many more there are, but I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and finish them. Um, so, but before we go there, let's do this real quick. I have level ups available. Um, I was going to take the lock picking one so that uh, I could uh, pick master locks, but apparently I've already done that. Apparently there's only one more level up. I didn't remember doing that, but I guess I did. Um, so that being the case, I might go ahead with the hacker perk. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's the next one? Alt is to show the next rank. So, expert terminals, master terminals, and you never get locked out of a terminal when things go wrong. Okay, so that's yeah, essentially the same thing as here. Lock picks never break. Uh, and this is you never get locked out if you make a mistake, so that's not a big deal either. Uh, I can't take gun nut rank 4 yet. That's what I would like to have, but that requires <laughs> rank 39. So, yeah, that ain't happening. Um, and I like the idea of the cap collector so I can invest in these shops, but that also requires a much higher level. Um, so I have a choice. I can go with pickpocketing, which I like the idea of. Uh, I want to get the next thing of rifleman, but that requires 31 as well, so I can't do that. Um, I was considering, realistically, getting scrapper rank 2 doesn't seem like a bad idea. Um, salvage rare components like circuitry and nuclear material and fiber optics. But realistically, circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics, I actually seem to have plenty of that as it is so I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment I want something a little bit more beneficial 
Um, science rank 3 is more tech mods. I'm really not worried about tech mods because I'm not using any kind of energy weapons at the moment. Uh, one thing that I am having trouble with is, well, first off, I can take armor and improve my power armor even more. But right now, my big thing is I don't have enough carry capacity. I keep having to come back. So I'm going to increase my strength one. And by increasing my strength one, that should unlock... Yes, here we go. This unlocks the strong back perk, which gives me an extra 25 carry weight. Now, you might think that's not a big deal. It's 25 carry weight. la di da But if we look at the next rank, we gain another 50 carry weight. And then we can use action points while over encumbered to run so i can run that's sweet and then the last one at level 30 is you can fast travel while over encumbered that is going to be the best perk ever because i can just take everything as long as i can fast travel i can fast travel back and store it so um this requires level 30 which ironically enough i need three more ranks of this so 27 to 28 is one 29 is 2 and 30 is 3 so I can take the next three pe perks in strong back as long as I don't forget that that's what I want to do so that's what we're doing there now um, the other thing I want to do is the reason I wanted to take the lock picking perk was because of this um, if I'm remembering this correctly when I was here looking for the lost patrol there was an armory and the armory was locked with a master lock and since i've already taken that perk now i don't remember taking it but i mean obviously i have and uh so now i want to go hack into the armory because it's the national guard armory there's the potential for like so much greatness here so we're gonna go hack into this thing and see what we come across i mean it's obviously gonna be a bunch of weapons but i'm hoping for like a unique weapon or some sort of unique drop of some sort um, and also, there's that, like, giant sentry bot who the, the, um, the wire, yeah, see, the wire from here runs over there. Excuse me. Anything useful? Um, no, Dance, and I actually meant to leave you behind, because... Be something significant in this area to merit these fortifications. No kidding. See, the wire runs from here to there, and that's the sentry bot. So it might be really cool if I can, like, have a sentry bot as a, as a follower. That would be, like, totally amazing. Master lock. Yes! Uh-oh. Oh, you know it's something good. It's to the right. Yes. Booyah! Okay, so there's probably going to be all kinds of, like, defenses in here. I'd be surprised if there were. I mean, it's the armory, right? Although you'd think that the door would be enough, but it should... Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, fiber optics works. Don't, don't. Bad dance. We should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts. You think? Now, what were all these laser tripwires hooked to? What was that? Oh, hi. Are you the guy who keeps the books? Where are you the... Ooh! Um... That's a suit of power armor. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, that's right, because I already found it. The security password was inside, so sweet. Oh, wow, that thing looks like a wreck. Well, I mean, it's a T-60. It's just not a Brotherhood of Steel rank T-60, so, eh, not bad. I totally ran in here without looking for any kind of other, uh, you know, like, traps or anything. Okay, so uh, I can see where I'm going to have to clean this place out, come back, and take that power armor suit back to the fort. But not the fort, the, the settlement. Um, hooray! I don't understand why these things are, but sure, why not? 
Okay, so, well, I mean, I understand aluminum can's nice. I'm actually running a little low on aluminum. But um, if all this place has for an armory is one suit of messed up, pieced out power armor, then I'll be very disappointed. Um, Protectatron. Oh, hi. Yeah, that was a bad idea to run at a guy holding a shotgun. Just a, you know, side note there. Oh, wow, another one to the right. Everything in this place is to the right. Recoil compensated rapid combat shotgun. Um, I'm holding something similar to that already, so yeah, we're just gonna move it along. Carton of cigarettes. Here we go. Uh, shotgun shell, 10 millimeter rounds, 556 plasma, compensated 10 middle. Okay, that was disappointing. Weapons workbench. Bottles. You know, for a National Guard armory, this actually is fairly disappointing. Um, did I miss something? Hey, dude. How do I get you out of there? I'll bet you were what comes out if I trip those trip wires. Okay, well, that's underwhelming. Um, I guess, yeah, I, let me take five. Uh, let me grab this suit of power armor and we'll, we'll run it home. And we will, actually, I'm gonna run home, drop off my armor, come back, get this armor, run home, drop off that armor, get back in this armor, and then we'll talk to Preston and see about taking back uh, Fort Independence or Independence Hall or whatever it is that he wants us to take. So we'll be right back. Holy crap. Okay, um, I stepped outside. Ah! Um, apparently going in here is not supposed to be allowed. Um, so... Apparently, yeah, that's not to... Whoa! Holy crap! When these guys go, they go big. Um, okay, so yeah, um, I guess that's how you get access to this guy. Ooh, cool, two fusion cores. Uh, not really grand anymore. Fusion cores are kinda so like yesterday, but whatever. Well, that was cool. I wonder if there's anything in his bunker. I gotta say, I didn't actually expect that to happen. I was actually completely forgot about it. The door closes and message plays. Congratulations, now you have to wait for somebody else to come to the armory so you can fight them too. <laughs> okay, well, um, right, previous plan, continuing. Alrighty, that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm not taking you with me. Yeah. You probably should come with me because you're probably one of the stronger companions, but if you're not here, you won't see me do things, so... We should go our separate ways. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a fool. Come back I'm alive, absolutely soldier. certain that it's my decision to make. Go to Outpost Zimonja. You guys can have fun over there. Um, because I'm going to do work for Preston Garvey, um, I don't want to have him with me because having him with me might have some sort of negative effect. Um, the Minutemen and the Brotherhood of Steel do not get along, absolutely. That's why I want to go ahead and do the Minutemen quests, uh, because I don't want to take a chance of completely alienating everything. No, not you, him. Oh, would you shut up, Mama Murphy? We understand. Hey. Hey, hey. Do you think we're ready to retake the castle? Yes, I do. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Um, see me <coughs> where? I'll meet you at the castle once we're ready. Okay, well, I guess the castle somewhere? Okay, maybe I missed something here. Quests, taking independent, meet Minutemen near the castle. Okay. Where is the castle? Ooh, now there's a nice long way away place. Warwick. 
here's the Brotherhood of Steel stuff. Do I not have a quest marker for where the castle is? How do I even... Taking independence. Meet Minutemen near the castle. Time for the Minutemen to take the castle and old fort that used to be the main base of operations. I've agreed to meet them there so we can plan our attack. Where is the place? Did I miss something? Okay, mate, do I have a quest marker? I have a quest marker. Okay, southeast. I didn't see anything southeast. Southeast. Oh, now I've got a quest marker. Wow, that is a long way away. Um. Yeah. I am going to... Yeah, we're going to fast travel to the combat zone. Because that's the closest thing there. And then we're going to have to walk. We might have a rest of this episode of me walking towards this place. Not exactly the uh, most amazing episode. But there's nowhere to fast travel close to there. And, well, when you're walking, you get jumped by things. When you get jumped by things, it's supposed to be interesting. So I'm going to, like, walk, I guess. So um, I forgot to be crouching and this is in the middle of the city where a bunch of things are going to try to kill me oh gosh do I even have my gun out and I got rid of my gun oh man he's not with me I got rid of him because okay so I'm all alone is essentially what this comes down to I'm all alone there's no you know how is this thing supposed to work I mean, I imagine the tarp catches rainwater, and then it drips it down into that hopper piece right there, and that brings it down in. And then, what? It boils it, and then takes the condensation off somehow? I mean, it looks like some sort of weird still. But you have to place it in water, so it's obviously not rainwater, like, directly rainwater fed. So... And here's the tap down there. You can see the tap down there just below the main structure. That's a weird looking thing. I don't know how to uh, how to figure that thing works. All right, southeast it is. Um, let's go this way. What's the worst that can happen? I'm seriously considering taking the suppressor off of this shotgun because it's so unnatural. It's like horribly unnatural. I, I every time I squeeze the trigger, it's like nope. Medical station metro. Sure. Who's there? Who's asking? Gunner Conscript. Well, apparently, they're not happy, people. What? So, whoops. Hi. Whoops. Whoa. Really whoops. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Wow. These guys mean business, don't they? That's okay. I can mean business, too. Uh -oh. Of course, I'm in the middle of a changeover. Oh, come on. Trying to switch to long range, and of course, here comes everything. By the way, I hotkeyed stim packs to uh, key number one, so it's a lot easier now. And also, down boy. Oh, hey. Down boy. Oh, as I swung. Oh, that would have been a really nice shot. Oh, hey. As long as you're going to come back. I'll put one through you. I don't mind. Oh, he ducked. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Down. Sit. Down. Play dead. 
Play dead. There we go. I knew we knew one of the commands. I didn't really need that steel, but whatever. It was a steal. <laughs> it was horrible. All right. Well, um, okay, so gunners, I guess, are like raiders. Short combat shotgun. You know, I always wonder, if you can, if you dress like them and just, like, walk in, will they actually accept that you're one of them? I mean, it would be really cool if it did, but I very much doubt that that actually would happen. So... I need to walk through y'all's place to get where I'm going. I'm on him. Who? I don't even know where you are. Nor do I actually care. I guess there's no point in sneaking when it says danger, is there? I guess this is what you would call the bad part of town. <laughs> well, something's going on here. They've got active power lines running. Well, I say active, but they... Whoops, hello. Oh, you're just a normal Protectatron. What's your deal? Oh. Oh. Hester's Consumer Robotics. Hi. Protect and serve. You have Protect nothing to say about that? Serve. Well, um... You probably have something that I want as far as that stuff goes. Um, if I can ever switch guns. So, well, you know, you're not a... Yeah, protect and serve. I can't mess with the guy who's protecting and serving. I feel horrible. Oh, dear. A large body of water. Probably not the best thing to deal with with power armor. Hello? Oh. Avon calling! Anybody home? That's it. You know, I kind of thought Preston would be going with me in all this. You know what I mean? I thought that, uh... Yeah, I dismissed my other travel companion because I figured Preston would be joining me as a travel companion, but... I guess that was, uh, unrealistic. Or wrong. Let's go with wrong. Oh, hey, look! There's the blimp. Okay, it did not look like the blimp was that close when it came to this before. Um, I don't want to leave my power armor, but it shows that that's... Oh, hey, I'll just take the bridge. I was going to just, like, jump in and, like, wade across the bottom, but... No. Now, what would be really hilarious is if the bridge, like, stops halfway over the river, and there's, like, no way to continue across. Then I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to take the bridge. That's not there. Um, why can't I jump? There we go. Emergency frequency RJ blah, 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 whatever I found. Yeah, let's listen to that real quick. It's an emergency frequency. Someone might need our help. If it just says this message will repeat again, I'm quitting. This is an emergency message to all Commonwealth Army soldiers. Emergency protocol 17 Echo Charlie Niner are in effect. If you are in distress, please proceed to the South Boston Military Checkpoint for aid. Coordinates are available in your emergency handbook. This checkpoint has been designated as a safe house in case of enemy invasion and is currently stocked with additional food, water, and ammunition. Sounds good to me. Where is it? I don't this have safe the handbook. Is for military personnel only. Citizens, including non military family members, will be turned away from matters of national. As long as you tell me where it is, I'll blast my way in. I don't care. This message will repeat. Um, okay. Well, that didn't tell me where it was, but... It shows on my map that there's a star point right there. Um, if I continue this way, that there's something with a star on it here. 
And the other thing that has a star is the National Guard Training Yard. So I would have to assume that if I were to continue going that way, I would find that. But that is not what we're here to do. Okay, so... Um, I had to go and say that it would stop halfway, and it did. Um, but I'm supposed to go that way, so let's... Whoops, hello. Who are you? You are Absalom. Who the heck is Absalom? Well, Absalom, it says you're a bad guy, although you're a named bad guy, so that kind of makes me wonder. You're about to be a headless named bad guy. Oh, wow. He kind of just took that, didn't he? He just took a 50 cal out of the helmet. I mean, he's got to have one heck of a headache, but... Uh, there you go. Get behind cover. Best thing the enemies in this game can do is get behind cover. When they get behind cover, they stay still when they stick their heads out. Like that. Wow, this guy's a beast. You know what the bad part is? I'm going to have to go find his body. No matter what I do, I have to go find his body. Because... He's a named bad guy, and I don't know why. So, I guess, let's do this. Banzai! Well, that worked. Okay, so he was right up here. Oh, well. By God, it took me forever to find his body. Let's see, 308, hardened sniper rifle, lots of combat stuff. Wow, lots of combat armor. Very nice. What did that do to my carry weight? Oh, I'm still good. Nice. Um, so who are you and why were you named and why were you hostile from the word go? Is there some sort of clue in your house here? Is this even your house here? Vault Tech lab coat. Hmm. Well, if you worked for Vault Tech, I don't feel bad about shooting you in the face multiple times. Um, as best I can tell, Vault Tech is like the great evil of these games. I mean, like, the people who drop the bombs aren't very good either, but you understand the concept. Oh, hello. Grognac! Yes. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Hooray! I don't do melee, but I was considering making a female character who did nothing but melee. Um, I don't know how, how practical that is. Oops, hello. That's not what I meant to do. I want to try to walk along this railing. Oh, I can't because I'm going to hit my head. Okay, in that case, let's do this. There we go. Okay, nope, never mind. Well, that wasn't too bad. Although, I still don't know who Absalom is and why he was here and attacked me. Um, well, I guess technically I attacked him first. But you understand the concept. He, he was there. His name was Red. He would have attacked me, I assume. Jump the fence. little diner I don't know what do you guys think is it okay to shoot somebody as long as their name is red I mean you know if the game shows them as red that they are just straight up hostile there's no question so is it okay to shoot them without giving them a chance to shoot at me first because I mean it is kind of fair I mean you know they're gonna shoot you they've been identified as red I hear your wings. Oh, there you are. What? Just... Okay. I think he vanished. There's the ching I was waiting for. Whoops, hello. Sweet! Yum. That's one! Um. K. 
God, that is like the creepiest thing ever. Why does it still say danger? I don't even see anything, hear anything, or otherwise. There's no red. I don't know, but I must be getting pretty close to my objective at this point. Whoops, hey! No, 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 nope, 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 nope. Now, I read somewhere that if you shoot the bomb in their hand while it's blinking, that it'll just go off, and you don't have to worry about them anymore. If I can ever switch weapons. Okay, where did... Oh, man, I do not want to have to worry about where he is. I'd rather shoot the bomb and have it go off than have to worry about having to run screaming, going, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. See, if it had switched like I wanted it to, he would have gotten marked, and the mark would have stayed on him, and I'd know exactly where he is. Because I'm using a tactical scope. So, right, super mutants between me and my objective. At least one suicider. One less dog. I mean, you know, nice, but... What were the super mutants fighting? That got them moving up. There's a guy. Down, boy. Good boy. Look, dude, I don't care if I just graze you. That was a 50 caliber shot. Really? And now you're going to come back at the worst possible time. Or right now. That works too. Okay. See, I hate the idea of a suicider being around here somewhere. I mean, if I know where he is, I can run from him and hide, hide from him. I can shoot him and... Uh... What? Who's there? Nobody. Okay, well, I tried to shoot the bomb and it didn't work. Oh, cripes. Here we go again. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that was, whoa. Sure, yeah, you know what? I'm... Oh, great. Who's shooting at me? It shows danger, but it shows nothing on the radar. Everybody's having on the radar. Where? Where are you even shooting at me? Wherever you're shooting at me, you're hitting me, but you're not on radar. Well, you're on radar, but you're not even on the vats. Seriously? You know what? Forget it. I don't care. I'm over time on the episode. I'm close to my objective. Let's just get there. That sound. What is it? That sound. What is it? It's a giant dude in power. Well, maybe I'm not a giant to you guys, but it's a big guy in power armor, like, stomping his way past you. Really? Across the water again? Uh, you know what? Whatever. Well, at least it's not very deep. Is this the point where I should be like, ah, there, we made it across. I mean, like, should I be that guy? Yeah, that's wonderful. So yay, across the water again. Oh wow, I almost walked off into the water. <laughs> and there doesn't see oh man, I might have died because if I was if I had walked off there, I probably would have died. Oh hey, who's fighting? Who are you? 
Are you another named? No, you're just a raider scum. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a nice day. Maybe not so nice now that you don't have a head. Sweet, we've... Hi? Okay, uh, we're here. And the episode's over. So I'm going to stop right now. And we will come back in the next episode. And we will retake the fort. I'm assuming that that's the fort over there. It kind of looks like a fort type place. So, yeah. Can I open this door? No. Yep. All right. So, that's it for this episode. Uh, click the little thumbs up button. It's right there. Click it. And help spread the gaming.